Hi, welcome to my channel this night. I'm just going to chill in my brand new room and um, try out these clutch nails that I've gotten quite a while back now. Um, it's the Ready to Glare uh, collaboration. I have this one and another one, but I really want to try these ones out. They are my favorite in the collection. So I'm going to be doing that while talking about what I've been up to this last year. Um, like everybody else, I've been locked into my house and um, like everybody else, I've been part of quite a few projects. Projects? Um, I've done a few things DIY wise. I wanted to start my channel last year, but I have crippling social anxiety. So this is uh, me really putting myself out there now. This is me actually doing what I've been wanting to do since I was a teenager. This is me finally going on to YouTube and actually trying to make a career out of it. So I figured um, for my first official video, I know there's one other video on there that I'm just not going to take off. Um, I figured I'd just sit here and talk to whoever might be watching this video and welcome you here and get an idea for what this channel is going to turn into because at this moment I have no clue what I'm going to be doing even a year from now. So that should be exciting. But I'm thinking way ahead of myself. Uh, tonight is tonight and I am going to be putting my clutch nails on while also trying to get some engagement for my channel. Um, I really like talking to people and having conversations and yeah. I find that if I... My clutch nails. I saw that they had a sale a little while back. Recently bought the Ready to Glare collaboration. These green nails have been calling my name since they launched. It's been a while since they launched if you are a fan of Ready to Glare. But now I have my hands on some and I'm going to try them out. But first things first, I am going to finish my joint that I started the first time I attempted this video. So I wanted to create this video as kind of an introduction video as to who I am, give you an idea of what kind of content to expect on my channel, and just, I don't know, just kind of chill. This is my first, sorry, and just kind of chill with you guys. This is my first uh, smoking session on camera in my new, my brand new shed that just got built. Uh, this is going to be where all the magic happens, and I'm so excited to finally be starting this. I've been wanting to make a YouTube channel since the early days of YouTube, and I'm finally just doing it. And whether this succeeds or fails, at the very least, I can say that I tried. So to kick this off, I'm going to light um, this kind of used joint and just kind of talk. That's really all I'm going to be doing, and it feels great now that I'm a little more chill. <laughs> so tonight I'm smoking Banana Dream by Almora Farms. I think it's actually a pretty good strain. I got an ounce of it a little while back, and I have no complaints. I love Blue Dream, so any strain of Blue Dream, fantastic. Um, I live in California, so don't worry, I'm not breaking any laws. I, it is recreational and medically legal here, um, and I do it for my mental health, so I think that it should be cool. I welcome anybody that has my same interests and is 420 friendly to have a toke with me. And anybody who doesn't like smoking weed or any of that THC stuff, whatever your uh, inebriation concoction of choice should be fine. So I'm just going to spark this up and then I'm going to get started on my nails and then we're going to just talk.
it just hits you different. I don't know. It's it's. I think it's a sativa hybrid, but I'm not sure. I know that Blue Dream is a sativa, so. I'm obviously talking on my ass. This is just good weed. Which is why this is not necessarily a smoking channel. It is just a channel with a smoker in it. Of weed. I don't smoke cigarettes. Alright, I'll hit a little more of that <coughs> later. I gotta start on these nails. Alright, I think I have an idea of how this works. Um, if I have one critique, it's just that these nails are fucking huge. I don't... I don't know. They seem like they'll fit. So, I don't know. I might cut that out. These nails, some of them are a tad wide but I think I should be fine so I'm gonna file my nails first and then we will get to the fun part where I will have a manicure for the first time in like a year two years I don't know can't remember the last time I got my nails done um So, I don't know if you guys can hear it. I am kind of getting over a cold. Yes, I know it's a little irresponsible of me to be smoking a joint while getting over a cold, but being 24 years old means that you can make some really dumb decisions if you want to. And in terms of really dumb decisions, this is like kind of a dumb decision. Um... <coughs> So please excuse any coughs or flumminess in this video. I'll try not to have it be a reoccurring theme. So, like I said, I just got over a cold and I am feeling the best that I've felt in like a week, week and a half. And while I was feeling like a corpse, I rediscovered my love for movies. I love uh, just sitting down and watching a movie. Sometimes I'll crochet, sometimes I'll do nothing. It just really depends on how I'm feeling. And um, I recently bought this seven movie Audrey Hepburn collection and I love every single movie in it. It's fantastic. She's fantastic. I stan. We stan. I just... Mm. Anyways. Woo. Anyways, so rediscovering my love for movies, I was like, well, I love watching movie reviews and I would love to do them and there are some movies I don't really hear mentioned. So I figured I would let whoever is watching this get the opportunity to vote for whatever movie review I end up doing first. So let's get on to the options, shall we? So the four movie options that I want to review. All of them I want to review eventually. I just want to see which one I'm going to do first. The options that we have are the, sorry if I keep looking over my computers right there. So the options that we have are The Road to El Dorado, Talladega Nights, Breakfast at Tiffany's, and The Quick and the Dead. And The Quick and the Dead. <coughs> So, whatever movie I review, I'll end up having a blast. Every one of these movies is a favorite in their own right. I just want to do one, and I am spoiled for choice. So I leave it in your hands, dear viewer. What movie review would you want me to do first? I don't know if it goes without saying, but I'm thinking it will be a 420 friendly movie reviews that I will be doing. It's kind of an idea. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. All right, let me do... So I'm going to finish filing my nails and then I will be right back because I can't, like, do two things at once right now. I'm a little high. <laughs> All right, just be right back. All right, I'm back and slightly not more sober, maybe less sober. I don't know. 
But, like the responsible adult that I am, I have already sorted out my nails. I just gotta glue them on and we can get on with our video. So, we, okay, we had just got done talking about the movie review options that I have. I'm really excited to hear what uh, you, the viewers, want me to review because I have no idea what you're gonna pick. I really just don't know. But there is more to me than just loving movies. I also just love to make things. Um, before life as we knew it changed, I was going back to school for my art degree after leaving my toxic makeup job. And I still want to hold on to any good creative idea that I might have because I am a creative person at heart and that is something that I really want to emphasize on my channel. That is a very big part of who I am and that is a very big part of what this channel will be is creativity, whatever, however it comes. And so <clears throat> I recently did try to make a very big project. I tried to make a Valentine's Day dress. It bit me in the ass so hard that I'm still smarting. So I figured let's walk before we can run and let's dial it back a little bit and do a little bit of smaller projects projects that you i know not you you as in me <laughs> projects that i know that i can do right now get content out there so that you are able to see what i am capable of now number one Ugh, gosh I promise I have color to my face. This camera is just super unforgiving. <coughs> so, as I was saying, I love to make things and I figure I would probably be in my best interest if I started with smaller projects and worked up to the bigger ones that I eventually want to do because I have been just so inspired by the DIY community um, the historical reenactment community to be a little more specific that I'm just like I want that I want in on that just just a little bit so finally I am going to make a space in my life for my DIY projects and I'm going to make it part of my Ew, I don't even use the word brand. Never mind. Um, so, again, just like with the movies, I am giving you guys the options because I have a few ideas and I can't choose. So, first, I the first thing that I've been wanting to make for a while, and I bl completely blame Elvis the Alien. He brought this jacket into my life and then just went on happy as you please. Uh, he did a review on... Oh my god, what's the name of the movie? Color Out of Space. Okay, so he recently did a review on Color Out of Space. It is a movie that starred Nicolas Cage in it, and I am a huge Nicolas Cage fan, just like he is. Um, and I saw that this jacket, he, that this jacket, do you know English? Apparently not. I saw this jacket that he wore to the premiere. I'm going to try to put it somewhere because I know how to do that in my video. Yeah, yeah, right here. Yeah, that's very uncomfortable. Ow. So he made this jacket right here. Um, and so he wore this jacket to the premiere for Color Out of Space and I fell in love. It is everything and I want it and so I figured you know what I bet you I could probably find a cheapish leather jacket at a Goodwill if I look hard enough and turn it just have my own version of that jacket because I need it I need it so that is an option um, me trying to DIY that another thing that I need in my life that is a little more practical are sewing supplies specifically sewing pads like Taylor's hams I want to get I want to make a few sewing pads that are longer in length and shorter in length just so that I have a variety of them because I have been looking into lace making and that looks like a lot of fun so I decided to get inspired because Morgan Donner did a similar thing with 
her lace making pad she made her own and I want to do that so I am eventually going to do that along with an arm roll so those are also an option um I don't think that anybody's gonna choose that option but I do need those things and I figure if anybody wants to see a video of me attempting to make a Taylor's ham an arm roll and some other padding accessories that I need to google then let me know because that sounds like fun to me personally I don't know maybe I'm just weird <coughs> this will be a little bit more fun a little bit on um, par with this video I one of the movies in my Audrey Hepburn collection is Breakfast at Tiffany's because of course it is it's probably the movie she's most known for it's a great movie it's fantastic that dress is fantastic I have nothing bad to say except <laughs> and I'm very sorry to announce funny face is better not saying that breakfast at Tiffany's is not a fantastic movie because it is it warms my soul I'm probably going to watch that next and then Sabrina um, tonight after I'm done with this mo after I'm done with this video um, but dude watch funny face it's chef's kiss but anyways uh back to breakfast at tiffany's the iconic cigarette holder i don't smoke cigarettes personally but i still want to feel like a fancy lady because i am a fancy lady and so i want my own 1960s style joint holders i want a few and a few different sizes and i figured attempting to make them on camera will be good content so that is the third option and the fourth option is mural concept drawings now i want to do a mural on you know what let me just see this blank wall i can't because i'm holding the camera but this whole blank wall is just a beautiful pale canvas and i love to paint so I want to make a mural. I was very inspired by Rachel Maxey. I haven't watched that video yet because I don't want to, you know, copy her in any way. I want to make my mural first and then watch her video. But for anybody that doesn't know what I'm talking about, this YouTuber named Rachel Maxey made a mural in her bedroom recently. It's gorgeous. I saw it on Instagram and I was like, I am going to be having a room that is this room soon and I want a mural in my room. So I'm going to be doing a version of that, just a more um, me version. So I figured that I would do some speed drawing videos on here eventually for some concept art that I want to put on here. I don't even know if what I said made sense, but we're just going to go with it. That is our fourth option, and I cannot wait to see what options, again, you choose. To be honest, I think everybody's going to go for the Nicolas Cage leather jacket because it's amazing. Um, and I still only have my thumbs on, so let's move on. These are freaking secure though. I have to say, like, very secure. I was scared that they were going to be too big. They're not. They know what they're doing, which I shouldn't have doubted to that. But whatever. Um. Ow. See, here's the thing. Nobody ever considers user error. I'm a dipshit. So, <laughs> this one's a little messed up. Okay, so it, you might be thinking to yourself right now, gee, this person's really freaking random. And you're gonna be correct. I am quite the anomaly. I, I'm trying really hard not to exude that I'm not like other girls energy because that's not what I mean. I just like everything. And that's pretty much what I want my channel to be, is me liking everything. So, um, you know, and I figure the people in my life find my interests entertaining, and if they find me entertaining, maybe you will, whoever you are. Um, and 
all I want to do is make people happy and I think that YouTube is one of those places for it it's a place for very creative people some good some awful <laughs> and I just I don't know so one thing that kept me from doing this for so long is that when I was doing research on that I was constantly coming across you need to pick a genre you need to be in a niche you need to not be too obscure of a person and that freaks me out because I don't know how to be anybody other than who I am. And I feel like there's a lot of people that are like that, that like just get caught up in their heads and eventually a few years pass by and you still don't have your YouTube channel. And you want, you just want this. And finally you just get to the point where whatever you put out is good enough, you know? And I'm finally at that point and I'm just one of those people that rebels against any kind of constraint like don't get me wrong I follow rules I'm a very polite person and everything like that there is a helicopter going over my head somewhere or an airplane just give it a moment while I file this down and collect my thoughts kind of scratched that up but it it's fine it still works <laughs> it wouldn't be my manicure if it wasn't uh, incredibly crooked and kind of <laughs> messed up. Um, so I'm just that person that like for some reason I always have to learn things the hard way, the tricky way, go the trickier avenues of life. I always have to make things a little harder for myself. And... I know that that may sound, I don't know, quirky or badass or whatever, or it, I'm like worried that I'm coming off as sounding that way. I just come, I was just raised by a, a strong woman who has magically been able to Martha Stewart her way through any situation that life has thrown at her. Like, I swear to God, my mom can turn nothing into diamonds. She really is a very talented woman and so I have a lot to live up to and that can kind of freeze me up a little bit. Um, that's getting a little deep so we're just gonna move on. But I did want to kind of segue since it's gonna be Mother's Day weekend and mention how amazing my mother is and how happy that I am to be her daughter. And I'm going to move on before I get a little teary-eyed and mushy because I know she's going to want to see this video later. So. <clears throat> I should also mention that holy shit you should see what my mom has been up to during the pandemic. This shed is the latest in her project ideas. It recently got finished thanks to my fantastic family and I now have a space of my own and I have the room to really grow this channel into something that I want it to be. So I just kind of wanted to segue that in and get a little mushy and thank my family who I know might be watching these videos. I love you guys. So <clears throat> back to the topics of the video. I do have one last category and this one I've kind of titled general shenanigans where I just didn't really have a niche for it yet but these are videos that I want to do so before this video gets any longer than it is let me name your options since we all know how this works now um so for the general shenanigans category we have me attempting to make mochi ice cream Checking out the Princess Core community, making a stoner meal plan, and doing a book review on this book that I recently got called, wait, do I have, oh shit, let me put this. so nice I'm not someone that really does fake nails in general be professional or at home but I really really like these nails um, I bought them myself like 
I should mention that any products that I mention in this video are not sponsored. I feel like that's obvious as of recording this. I have 19 wonderful subscribers. Um, but I feel like we can all acknowledge that that's not nearly enough subscribers for any brand to even know who I am yet. So, sorry, let me get back to the options. So, attempt to make mochi ice cream, check out the Princess Core community, make a stoner meal plan, or do a review on this book that I recently got called Wild Women and the Blues. It will get me to finish this book a lot quicker. And I do actually want to do a review on it because I love historical books, um, historical fiction. Yes, that's the word. And so far this has been pretty damn good. So, just wanted to segue that in there. I do eventually want to do all of these video ideas that I have mentioned. I just want to have a general idea of what direction to go into. I think I'm going to start with my next video being a DIY video, but even then that's subject to change because I am flighty. So you know, I just figured that I would make this video to hold myself accountable. I am never going to get this channel up and running if I keep skipping over this video idea or this video idea or this video idea. Just going super old school, sitting in front of my bed, in front of the camera, talking to the ether. This is the way to do it and this is the way to hold myself accountable and I've said accountable way too many times. So... I am going to see what the humans that are watching my videos want to see from me because there are so many things that I want to give and it's been stressing me out on how to start this channel and I, I just, I've been thinking too much about how not to make my videos awkward and it, the fact of the matter is until I get used to, to staring at this one gigantic eyeball staring back at me and not saying anything. It's just going to be uh, awkward and awkward YouTube beginnings that just seems to be how the cookie crumbles. So to anybody that is watching this and has made it this far, why and thank you. Um, <laughs> I just uh, thank you for letting me embrace the discomfort and embracing it with me and we will find out how my community starts and how this channel will grow and that's pretty much all I have to say for this video. I had a much much better prepared script than the whatever came out of my mouth um, but I'm a little lit I'm still a little sick and I think I've gotten my point across pretty well um, I think I've talked your ear off enough too so I hope I will see you guys in my next video. If you are all intrigued on what I'm going to be up to, go ahead and subscribe and see what kind of videos I come up with. Um, I hope, okay, let me just shove the snail on because again, still can't rub my stomach and pat my head at the same time. Um, so I really want to upload once a week. I really want to try doing that, but I'm not promising anything because I am terrible at keeping a schedule. So until my next video, good night because it's night where I'm at. I'm going to go do a dab, then watch breakfast at Tiffany's, maybe feel a little bit Sabrina, and I will see you later. Bye.